Hello guys, well it's been a while since I did a video so uh, I thought I'd uh, just show you what progress I've been making lately. Um, charging. Obviously as you get uh, more models and you get bigger batteries and, and go more towards batteries you, you need bigger chargers. So this is my old one, you know, it's great, it's a little uh, Ritmax Sigma EQ but uh, I've had to spend some money. So now we have the new charging unit. Um, so this is an e-fuel and it's a 1200 watt power supply at 50 amps and a couple of eye chargers as well, the 306B, which, um, to be honest, are absolutely amazing. Um, I'm using uh, quite a few batteries now that are, well, let me let me find one here. Okay, this is my typical battery setup, and uh, that's the OptiPowers, and uh, I think they're 3.5s, 3.3s, three those ones. Uh, before with the Ritmax, I know it was charging them. Um, if I was trying to charge in uh, on the charging board there in parallel, it was taking three or four hours, and um, probably sometimes more. And if I had to discharge them because the weather turned bad, um, it was a lot longer. So these do it in, um, well, just over an hour really, balanced charge. So uh, it's great in an hour, or probably less than an hour, if I'm using um, the uh, the six cell, but uh, the Dominator batteries, the 1200s, um, I can be up and flying in, uh, well, well under an hour. It's great. So there's... Uh, there's the batteries I'm using, and this is uh, the culprit for why I'm having to use them. Uh, as you can see there, there's the, the old Fusion 50, which uh, which also took 6S batteries and, and took a long time to charge. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's one of my newest toys, and that's the, the 600 Pro DFC. Um, running on Mikado V-Bar, uh, telemetry, beautiful helicopter really is. Anyway, that is the reason why I've been up in my charging. Um, so, just to give you a quick demo, obviously it, uh, it won't mean a great deal, but uh, there you go, you switch it on. Uh, you got a lovely LED light on the front, tells you the, the voltage you're, uh, you actually draw, or the voltage you set it at, which is adjustable. So you turn this knob here and you can go, you go up to 30, you can go down to, I think it gets down to about 14 volts, something like that, 15, 14 volts, which is great. So you can adjust the voltage, uh, obviously the ampage, uh, readout is there too, so what you're actually drawing through the power supply and obviously on the eye chargers as well they do give you a readout of the, the ampage you're using and the wattage as well so that is my new setup um, obviously you can charge an awful lot of batteries at once so I've got the two uh, parallel boards here so that's for the Deans which is for the 450 Dominator I've got uh, which uses 1450 um, S, uh, 6S batteries and that's obviously for the uh, for the real pro ones. Okay. So that is about it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, then please put them below. Um, willing to answer any questions you have. Um, it's only early days for me. I mean, I've had this set up now for probably less than a couple of weeks, but uh, already I'm I'm having some great results, and it's brilliant to actually charge your batteries and not have to wait all day to do it. Uh, before, if I had to, well, was going to fly on a Sunday. I was constantly checking the weather to see if it was okay to fly. I was having to charge everything up the night before and even into the day after. So now I can think, right, in the next couple of hours I'm going flying, stick them on charge, and uh, I've got, uh, well, I've got at least, what, nine flights. So it's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, again, if you have one of these or you have uh, small charging needs, they're absolutely great. But if you want something bigger and better, and go for the eye chargers. They are absolutely brilliant, and they'll charge up to 30 amps, and and something like that to uh, to power supply them.